Bill has been awarded $625,000 in legal costs after winning a privacy and copyright infringement case against a UK-based tabloid. The ruling following and follows Megan's successful claim against associated newspapers for reproducing parts of a handwritten letter she sent to her father, Thomas Markle. The Duchess of Sussex had hailed her victory as a comprehensive win over the newspaper's illegal and dehumanizing practices. After a two-year legal battle, a British court granted summary judgment in Meghan Markle's favor over the publication of extracts of a personal and private handwritten letter she had written to her father, Thomas Markle. Meghan had written the letter after falling out with him on the eve of her wedding to Prince Harry. The former actress took legal action after a series of articles published parts of the letter in August 2018. The paper argued the Duchess had intended the letter's contents to become public and that it formed part of her media strategy. The publication's claims were rejected. Last month, a judge at London's High Court ruled that UK tabloid The Mail had breached Meghan's privacy and infringed her copyright by publishing parts of a five-page personal letter without obtaining her permission. The judge had ruled in the Duchess's favour without holding a trial. After the win, Britain's Duchess of Sussex is set to receive a sum of $630,000 as a provisional payment for her legal expenses, the court added that any financial remedies to be granted to the Duchess for misuse of private information would be considered at a further hearing in late April or early May. The Duchess's legal team sought damages worth more than $2 million with half the amount to be paid within 14 days, a sum the paper described as disproportionate. After stepping down from their royal duties, Meghan and Harry moved to California last year. They are expecting their second child. Prince Harry has confirmed that he and his wife, Meghan Markle, stepped back from the royal family last year because the British tabloids were destroying their mental health.